Hey, what's up homies? I'm Cassie from Ground Up Fitness and today I'm gonna to show you how to do a barbell hip thrust. This move is a staple in any glute program. The goal is to get close to failure with our reps. So when you're starting out technique wise, maybe doing less weight, more reps, but then as you get stronger, you wanna look for what's difficult between like six and eight reps typically with this exercise. Equipment wise, you're gonna need a barbell, which weighs 45 pounds. All Olympic barbells weigh the same. And uh, discs, you're gonna need a bench. I have my bench set up at a deficit. I like having my bench set up this way because I'm short and my extension of my hips is a little bit lower than this bench when I'm leaned back on my shoulders. So this setup takes a few inches off of that. If you don't have one of these benches, you can use a one of those ab decline benches that anchors your knees and your feet. You can use one of those aerobic steps that you can control the height of. Um, you can also use a Smith's machine, which this is not that, and there's probably better videos for that to watch if that's what, your, uh, what kind of equipment you have. These discs weigh 45 pounds each, and that makes this barbell hip thrust 135 pounds in total. If you're not ready to do that much weight, you're gonna wanna use discs like this, which are bumpers. These bumper discs are lighter. They're made of plastic. Uh, these are 45 pounds, like I said, and they're tall enough to get me up and off the ground uh, and have the bar on top of me. Um, with these guys, this only weighs 10 pounds. They make them 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, up to 45. It's gonna lift the bar up off the floor high enough that you can still get under it, but you don't have to lift so much weight. There are also other modalities that you can do hip thrusts with dumbbells or fixed weight barbells. And like I mentioned, the Smith's machine. Um, I'll make more videos for those things if you guys want me to. Just make a comment down below if that's the case. Um, but if not, we're gonna get started. So I'm set up in an L position, my body my torso straight up and down, my legs straight out in front of me. I wanna make sure the bar is in the middle of that in this position because I don't have much wiggle room from side to side. I'm gonna roll the bar up and over me, move it a little bit over because I was off center. Um, and then I'm gonna pull my feet as close up to me as possible to make my feet as flat as I can from here. My hands go on the bar, palms facing down. I'm gonna push my shoulder blades into the bench. I'm gonna take a nice inhale to brace my core push up through my heels. And then here I can kind of move around and make sure I feel comfortable on my back. My shoulder blades are really supported and that my heels are directly under my knees. I wanna make like a 90 degree angle from my hip to my knee to my feet. From here, I'm gonna lift my toes up off the ground, keep my chin really tucked into my chest, lower my hips, get a good stretch in my glutes, and then push up to a contraction of the glutes. You don't wanna push up into your low back. You wanna just keep it in the glutes, tuck it under, come back down, Push up, tuck your glutes under, keeping your chin nice and tucked, neutral spine, and my hands are balancing the bar. If you're pushing up unevenly, the bar is going to go crooked. So that's going to mean you're pushing more with one leg than the other. Make sure the bar is going up evenly, pushing evenly through both legs, up, squeeze, and down. When you're finished, you can sit down, straighten your legs, and push the bar off of you, and die a little death because this is not easy. <laughs> this is another angle of where my back is supported on the bench. I have full contact through my shoulder blades and I'm able to tuck my chin and push through my upper back without wiggling up or down on the bench at all. So full contact through the bench, full contact through the heels of your feet and full hip extension. So now that I've shown you some things that you should do, I'm gonna show you some things that we should avoid. It either makes the exercise less effective or just dangerous. Uh, with this much weight pushing down onto your hips and essentially into your spinal column, you wanna be really safe and keep everything really neutral. So this is a bit of a dangerous exercise, but with good technique and intention, mind-muscle connection, you'll be fine. You don't wanna start leaned back into your bench with your head back. Like I mentioned, we wanna be in our L shape. If I start from back here, I lose all of the strength from my glutes, and then I have a really weird curve in my neck, which is also part of my spine. 
So starting here in an L position is ideal so that you're able to be as backed up into the bench as possible with as much force coming from the glutes. We are pushed up and your feet are in front of your knees. This is gonna put the thrust in my hamstrings, which if that's what you're trying to do, go for it. But most people are doing this for glutes. So again, we wanna be at a 90 degree angle from your hip to your knee to your feet. If your feet are too close to you, you're gonna feel it more in your quads here on the top of your legs. This isn't right. You wanna pull your feet a little further away in that case, under your knees, lift your toes up slightly, extend. You also wanna avoid hyperextending through your back and throwing your head back. This is not good for your spine at all. Tuck your chin into your chest, push up through the glutes, now the mess. You don't wanna push into your low back at all, slow and controlled. Then when you're done, sit down and push the bar off of you. Also, when you're putting the bar down, you wanna keep your hands on the bar. Keep that stability in your back, lower down with control. You don't wanna put your hands down and then try to do this because this is a lot of weight. Sorry, <sighs> you should be out of breath, no? If you put your hand down wrong, you like twist into your finger, into your wrist, that would be a stupid way to get injured when you could just keep your hands on the bench, keep everything nice and controlled, and then work your way down. Barbell hip thrusts are a great staple exercise to add into your glute routine so that you can safely and effectively add more weight over time, progressively overloading those glutes, adding volume and gaining strength. Have fun. Let me know if you have any questions.